Good evening guys. Uh, so in this video we will try to uh, provide a solution to uh, one of my subscribers uh, who has actually uh, written this email and uh, her name is Barbara and uh, she has written in email that uh, I'm your subscriber and watch your all videos and trust me I'm really getting a lot of benefit from them and using it in my office premises as well. I need your help in letting me know how to create dynamic drop downs. I want to set two drop downs and in one if I select company let's say A then next drop down should give me its uh, city city name right eagerly wait for your video cheers alright so what exactly uh, she is looking forward to uh, let me just uh, increase the size of this screen so guys uh, today what we are going to do is we are going to create the drop downs so wh what, do, what do I mean is let's say uh, as what she has actually asked uh, let's say if you have the companies let's say uh, I'm going to write here a couple of companies let's say Deloitte, Aon, uh, maybe ENY, uh, Merck uh, I mean you know you can write whatever you want to write and let's say we have their uh, city as well so let's say I, I give the city as uh, maybe A, B, C, uh, CC maybe DD so what we want to do is if somebody select here let's say Aon in the drop down then automatically we should have the next drop down this B right or maybe we can um, well first of all I try to answer uh, you know uh, this uh, question and then uh, maybe we can go further and can uh, do a lot of more changes in the drop down so I'll try to add you know a more information to this uh, question because this is actually a very good question so what we call them is we call them as dynamic drop downs and today I'm going to tell you that what you exactly will be requiring is you will we will be using the indirect function we will be using the name range and we will be using the data validation right so in order to form the drop down uh, first of all let's prepare a header called company and let, let me have here the city right in this way and uh, now I need to have all the companies listed in this drop down so what I'll do is I'll go to the data and I click on the data validation and in this data validation I will be on the settings and I will, I'll click on the list and then here what is my source so I need to select my source right so my source is these companies let's say these are the companies press ok and there you go now you can have you know these companies listed in this drop down this is how you write and I must tell you that there is a shortcut key as well which is called Alt D L if you press Alt D L you will be directly you know uh, directed by your Excel to this window which is called the data validation anyways now let's go to the next part now we have already created a drop down wherein I can select any company as you can see here so what actually we want to do is we want to say that the moment I select this Merck company let's say I should have its city as well right so means that DD should automatically populate here now you can even uh, you know directly uh, write here the VLOOKUP function right you can write here that VLOOKUP and uh, you can set up this and you can simply leave this formula as it is right and of course we are going to hide all these columns so that user should not be able to see right and uh, so this is uh, again uh, one of the methods but since we are going to deal with the drop downs only so if I change this letter A on you see that uh, my company my city is also changing but this is not something I'm looking forward to right because I want a drop down here so I will delete this right so how you create the drop down is now in order to create the drop down of course I have to go to the data and then validation but before that I want to link up this cell with this cell right so what you need to do is uh, you need to copy this and paste it here take the transpose so that the direction can be vertical or maybe you can write manually as well a on and uh, we know the city is b and similarly we'll write here e and y and e and y is here and the company cc and then merc 
so you write here the same uh, spellings should be same it's not a case sensitive but spelling should be same now what exactly we want to do we want to create a ranges we want to create ranges like we want to refer this uh, a as Deloitte we want to refer this as a on we want to refer this cell which is CC as ENY and we want to refer this Merck as GD so that we can actually use the indirect function so do one thing because we, before we uh, because we have four actually companies here so in order to save a time just select this part right and go to the data validation and uh, go to the uh, formula I beg your pardon and create from selection now uncheck this and keep this top row because I want to form the top row press ok and now you'll see that you have all the list created here so A on refers to B ENY refers to CC and Merck refers to DD and A on refers to A or B and one, one more thing I want to tell you that you, if you see here that we have E underscore Y but here I have used a special character so that's exactly you know it's not allowed actually even when you give the name ranges so you have to use this underscore right or maybe if you don't want to use any underscore maybe you can write here simply Y EY right and put it here as well EY now it's time to change edit it so go to the name manager and here just select this option and click on the edit and this is how you can actually reduce this you can remove this underscore and close this now we are all fine here now what we need to do is in this drop down go to the again data and validation and here select again the list because we want to create the drop down but this time you will write here a formula which is called indirect and choose this right now remember indirect actually does what indirect actually works on the cell addresses so what does that mean that means if you write here indirect b4 it will immediately go to the b4 and it will see that in b4 what is written so in b4 i will have let's say ey so ey is not a text for me now because we have created a range so immediately it will go to the ey in your you know uh, the back end of the excel it will see that ey refers to what and we know that ey actually refers to cc right so the source uh, currently evaluates to an error do you want to continue uh, yes let's do this because I guess reason being because we had this E and the AND operator now we are good to go now you can see here the company is automatically populated if I select the A on now you have the B if I select Deloitte you have in the drop down only A right if you have Merck then you have the company uh, city called DDD so this is how one drop down can be uh, you know uh, with the change in the one drop down we can actually have a change in the second drop down as well now since we have just the one city but generally it is not for it is not so I mean uh, it looks so uh, I would say that uh, bright uh, because we have just a very a drop down having just one value but just imagine if you if you are uh, let's say uh, working on some sort of stuff uh, let me say that if if you have this company Deloitte and under this uh, you have let's say different different categories uh, maybe let's say you have uh, these uh, sectors so where I have the Deloitte let's say I have it in sector 1 I have in sector 2 I have in sector 4 and similarly Aon let's say it's in sector 55 it's in sector 66 or may and then EY let's say it's in phase you know it's a kind of address whatever you want to write I'm just telling you actually it's in phase 4 it's in phase 6 it's in phase 9 it's in phase 55 let's say uh, Merck is in Avenue let's say Avenue 3 Two. whatever you want to write right like this so when you have these kind of a drop downs now what we can do I'm again going to repeat this for you so first of all we already have this drop down created so this time how to remove the drop down first of all we'll remove the drop down I'll again go to the data validation and I'll say that clear all so I will clear and the drop down is removed however I still have the drop down here I can choose my company here right now what you need to do is again go to the uh, first we need to delete all those ranges which we have created so go to the formula and name manager 
add this aeon now you can delete it or you can even edit it the choice is yours for example if i'm let me just show you if i delete this then this will be removed from here then i'll have to create it again so we can even do that i can delete it or the another way of, of doing this is you can select this and you can edit it and in this edit portion you can actually increase this range from here till here right so this is also something which you can do choice is yours and you just need to press ok and then when you close it you will have ey refers to this m22 m6 m5 whatever it is right so anyways let me just delete it and let's reform this again with new entries so these are called the name ranges this is how in the name manager we create the ranges so since i know that all these are to be created so i would like to be a little fast here i will not like to go one by one right so doing one by one means that uh, you first of all um, uh, you know select this and, and then you go here in the address bar and then you write here deloitte like this and press enter and then you select this portion and then you write here aeon and then press enter the second method is you go to the name manager and you write here new and you write here ey and what it refers to it refers to a table which is this table right so see that now we i have to create this four times because i have four headers here so instead of doing that what i will do is let me just delete this first i will apply a shortcut so this is just for maybe you can do it manually like i was just telling you but what if you have like 10 for 15 headers sort of this you know so by going to every uh, range and giving the name in the address bar or maybe using the name manager is going to take a lot of time and the frustration level also goes high and i can tell you this with 100 percent guarantee that you will be frustrated because when i was not aware about this option i was also like you know that taking a lot of time so when you work on the excel you really want things to be fast right that's why you are using excel and there comes your vba part when you actually become so lazy maybe i won't say lazy but um, maybe you know that you really want that excel should start work for you then you start writing the programs the dynamic programs right so maybe that's another thing anyways um, i just got carried away i'm so sorry let, let's just come back to the excel piece so let us quickly uh, select this table and go to this name manager this under formula tab and create from selection so uncheck this left column and press ok and there you go now it has already created for you all the ranges you can see here aeon refers to 55 66 deloitte refers to this which is perfect Merck refers to this and ey refers to this so our job is done now let's come back here and go to the data validation alt dl you can press and this time here again i'll go to the list and now i'll say that indirect if you if you don't have any idea about the indirect go and watch my video on the indirect you will understand what exactly it means so just select this cell so whatever b4 will have like aeon or ey or merck or deloitte those are already created deloitte refers to this sector 124 aeon refers to sector 55 66 and similarly ey refers to phase 4 to phase 55 and merck you know avenue 2 to avenue 66 so automatically your drop down will keep on changing right so this is how we have created the drop down you select ey and you'll get here phase 4 phase 6 phase 9 wonderful right so this makes your work very easy and looks very el actually elegant as well because you know uh, now i could even do one thing you know uh, so for somebody who doesn't know the importance of this drop down maybe what is the other way around if you don't know this option then it does not mean that you can't create the drop downs of course you can but then what you will do is you will do some this sort of you know some sort of this stuff you will put this below each uh, each line and then you come here and then you write here all dl you go to the you know list and then this is what you will do now you will select this entire table and then press ok right now we can see here that we have all the entries now it looks really absurd right to me actually i mean it looks absurd because i have to really check where exactly i am where is my drop down which i really don't want to do that right but here you can see that i have only sector one two four but 
this is telling me the entire story and just imagine we have only 10 12 odd items here what if you have a long list maybe you have 50 items so that drop down will give you the 50 items so it's very difficult you know it looks very tidy as well so i guess this is how you can actually make this drop down wonderful um, rest you know you can give this like kind of bordering and the color and uh, this will work for you so this is how you can create the drop downs um, not only this um, i will come up with some more interesting stuff on this on the same question uh, now we have done this through you know uh, simply by using the excel scales but this can even be done with the vba in a different format so i'll go ahead and upload the next video on the same so go and watch that video as well and uh, I also want to tell you which I always uh, share in you know in the beginning or the end of the my video uh, we have already like uploaded around 136 or I think 137 videos on this on the Excel and the VBA go and watch all those videos you can go to my YouTube channel playlist and you can look out for all the videos categorically there uh, or otherwise um, you can even refer to my Excel VBA lover.com website in that website uh, you will see all the excel related videos excel training as well if you're looking for some you know excel training and at the same time it has a lot of videos on the vb as well so just type in in your explorer uh, whatever whichever you are using actually excel uh, vba lover.com just click on this website and uh, it will take you to through my you know the front page and then uh, on the uh, right upper corner you'll see that tutorial section go and click there and you can watch all those videos categorically right so there you go now you have the excel training videos you have the vba training videos if you're not able to see this drop down then please either go on the chrome or if you are on the explorer then internet explorer then please upgrade it so if I click on the video tutorial, this is where I can see all the videos categorically. We have a lot of videos on the charts, conditional formatting, dashboard, data validation. This is what exactly I was talking about. So go and watch these videos as well. Um, you will definitely gain something out of it. And uh, so these are all the videos which I have uploaded for you. And uh, there are like 80, 90 videos so far. So with this aim that I'll come up with some more exciting stuff and uh, so that you can actually use it in your office or maybe whatever project you're working on and can be awesome in excel uh, signing off now and till then take care and very happy learning bye bye thank you